Well, we feel great. Winning's a lot more fun than losing. There's no question about that. Uh, so many big plays that you could talk about, but we have a three-point lead, and usually I'm not even watching the clock, but when it gets down late in the game, I watch the clock with the score, too. Uh, but we have a three-point lead, and we missed about 77 shots in a row, it seemed like. And uh, we run a set play and don't get anything out of it. But uh, Kenny penetrates and hits Cam out to, on the left wing across from our bench, and he made the three. And I thought that was huge for us to give us a little space to breathe, a little bit of feeling better. And then we did get a stop on the other end as well. Uh, Theo going in and missing the dunk. I didn't want him to shoot that one unless he was going to make it. And Kenny going in and shooting the ball way too soon. We had some brain malfunctions at that point. but. Uh, we were able to live through it and uh, look down there, five, four guys in double figures and uh, 15 assists, two turnovers. We've been talking about turn, stop turnovers and all that kind of junk, and I think, think we did a better job there. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball exceptionally well, but uh, we made shots when we had to. By the, way, by the way, hang on. By the way, two turnovers ties the school record. Go ahead, Bobby. Out rebounded significantly in the first half. Second half, you rebounded more than half your misses. Yeah. Uh, is that well, it's, well, no, it wasn't a tactical change. It's something that we preach all the time. At halftime, we talked about defending, rebounding, and playing with a great deal of effort. That's the three things we pushed. But uh, the first half, we outscored them on second chance points, six to five, I think. But they had more offensive rebounds, seven to five. And I always talk about you got to go box out, but you can't just lightly box out. You got to box out and try to rebound the ball in front of you. If you rebound the ball straight over your head, this taller guy's going to have a better chance to get it. And so we talked about junk like that because I've got to talk about something at halftime. But uh, I just think we just uh, were more effective, and except for that stretch of about five or six minutes where we didn't score, I thought in the second half we were really good. You guys trailed by about nine, about two and a half minutes left in the first half. Had a 23 4 run in the span, but it's not went up 10. What was the difference during that stretch? Offensively, we were really eff efficient, you know, except for shooting the ball in the basket. Uh, but, uh, you know, Kenny made two or three threes, made a nice drive during that time period. Uh, uh, we probably shot a really high percentage during that time period, but uh, we, I'd say that's what it was. We were efficient, and they were missing some shots as well. You have a lot of guys who have played in this game before Cam Johnson had, but he kind of looked like he had. Did yeah. you talk to him at all about what this was going to be like or just kind of let him go? Just kind of let him go. I told everybody it's a different kind of thing, and it really is. It, there's no question. It's the only time we play a game where we have two, what's the correct terminology, two networks doing it. Mm -hmm. we got we got everybody that's ever played coach over there telling people what's going on. But uh, uh, So we tell them a little bit about that, but it's it's Duke, so it is. And I'm looking around. Where's my man that thought we might overlook Duke? <laughs> I, ask, <laughs> I said, where are you from? <laughs> took care of the ball and the way that you rebounded and the way that you had the balance. Did it feel like a culmination of all the things you've been telling them? Yeah, I wish, I wish I knew what made it happen so I could keep it going, but uh, we really did. Uh, uh, early in the game, they were killing us, you felt like, on the backboards and with their size, but the numbers didn't show it six to five, like I said. Uh, but we still need to do a better job. And Grayson, we didn't shadow him on one of the th plays. He made a three. We didn't shadow him once in the second half, and he made a three. And so the things that we've been talking about all the time, for the most part tonight, we did a better job of. Rory, along those lines, uh, Joel and, and Luke gave you what they typically give you, but you got a lot of contributions. Brandon Robinson gave you some good minutes. Well, well, we shot 39% because Joel Berry was seven for 20. So he didn't give me what he could give me. <laughs> I told him what was shot, and Theo said Joel Berry. So Theo blamed Joel for every bit of it. But go ahead, I'm sorry. You just got a lot of contributions yeah. from other guys. Well, you know, even Sterling comes in, he makes four free throws. The third one didn't look very pretty, but it ended up bouncing in. But uh, uh, still, they're hard to guard, and yet they went really big one time. They went with three big guys at one time. And uh, so we ended up having, uh, I think it was Cam trying to guard uh, Bagley. Uh, but they're really good. And I mean, 15 and 16 for Bagley. And then, I mean, O'Connell, he's. He was the star of the show for them coming off the bench, so I'm sure they're happy with what he gave them off the bench, too. You've been through 31 of these now, and you mentioned that all the players and coaches will tell us what's going to happen or what to do. Mm -hmm. Should we draw any conclusions from this? No. I told the TV guys today at Shoot Around, you know, guys, if we win, they're not going to give us a trophy. If we lose, they're not going to, well, hopefully, they're not going to fire me. Uh, but it's safe, safe for a day, safe for another day or so, <laughs> safe for another day or so. But it is one game, but it's a really big game. You know, I always say it's the biggest game because it's, and the players repeat to me, it's today's game. And you don't have to say anything more than that about the Duke game. We just have, I have, team has so much respect for them. And, you know, I mean, it's, 
I was sick when they lost to St. John's because I knew they'd be even more fired up the whole bit, but our guys were pretty fired up too. I don't remember North Carolina playing uh, Duke and State this close together since like the Big Four tournament. Uh, how do you change gears now? Who knows? You know, it's it's a hard part of a schedule. Play three games in five days. Uh, Duke, NC State, uh, uh, two people we're closer to than anybody else, and then Notre Dame that we were lucky as you could possibly be and win. Uh, it's not a good situation, but it's what the schedule says. So, told them they better be in class tomorrow and better get some rest, and uh, we'll get them together tomorrow and uh, uh, do a few things and show them some clips and. Uh, I'll go recruiting, and then we'll come back and take a nap and play on Saturday. Ross, Coach, what's the locker room like after a win like that? I mean, it's happy. I mean, you know, everybody's jumping around. I took my coat off just in case they wanted to throw water on me. But uh, uh, I'm I'm one of the best celebrators in the world, too. I can I can enjoy it in there, too.